I'm Sonia Gelsinger. I am a first year grad student with Dr. Heinrichs at Penn State. And today we're going to be talking about colostrum quality and how to measure that and how different dairy farmers can do that on their farms. So one of the first things that a lot of dairy farmers use is this is the colostrometer. Um, and this measures the uh, IgG level of the, of the colostrum and it's based on density. So all you need to do, it's very easy, all you have to do is drop the colostrometer in there and let it sink and then there's a scale on the actual colost colostrometer. The goal is to be higher than 50 and you can see on this side is the green actually correlates to higher than 50. So if it's in the green range it's good quality colostrum. Whereas if you look at this sample, and well again, I'll we'll just drop it in, it sinks pretty quickly, a lot faster than that one is, and it is going down, 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 and you notice looking at it, it's getting into the red range. Another tool that we are using today is the refractometer, so you can have a, um, a visual, or you can have a digital, obviously the digital is a little more expensive, but they both will give you the same number, and they are based on a bricks reading. So what they will read is how the colostrum is bending the light, it, whereas the um, colostrometer measures density. So one of the benefits of using a refractometer is you can measure the colostrum quality right after you milk the cow when the colostrum is warm, or right after you thaw it out of the freezer, the number will be the same on the refractometer, whereas the density of a liquid will change depending on temperature.